Hey there, I'm Sean from ARRI and this is a video about the update for our lighting control app, Stella 2. So if you're not familiar with Stella, Stella is our really easy to use and intuitive lighting control app. It's available right now on the Google Play Store and on the Apple App Store, so whether you have a phone or a tablet you can download a free trial right now, go and give it a go. Unlike some other lighting control applications which might try and mimic the feel of a lighting console, instead we've really simplified things with Stella. You can still get into all the nitty gritty if you want if you're a professional lighting tech, but if you aren't, it's really nice to have these like color wheels and stuff which provide kind of an intuitive way of controlling the color and the intensity of your lights on set. Stella also takes a lot of the hassle out of setting up a network set environment. Instead of having to get on a ladder into your grid and change the DMX mode or the DMX address of one of your fixtures, all of that can happen from Stella. And in fact, with the auto layout function, it does it all for you. For more information on the feature set of Stella, I suggest you go to arri.com slash Stella, where there's a whole website which shows you all the features of this really powerful tool. We also have a whole bunch of YouTube tutorials available, and they're at youtube.com slash Arri channel. But let's look at the new features that are found in Stella 2. So probably the biggest change that's come along with Stella 2 is that we now support third-party fixtures in the app from Kinoflow, Astera, and from Lightgear as well. We can also support single-channel tungsten dimmers if you have like a prac bulb or a single tungsten light that you want to control. Inside of Stella, you can do that as well. So the way that you set up third-party fixtures with Stella is slightly different to ARRI ones, as unfortunately we can't use that auto layout functionality. Instead, we'll have to do some steps manually, but it's still pretty simple. On the setup page, if we go to add fixtures and then to add manually, it will ask us what brand. Now, here's a Astera tube that I've prepared earlier. I'm gonna click on Astera, and then I know it's a Titan tube. I want this to be on the same DMX universe as my other fixtures. And then I've put this tube already into DMX mode 14. And then now Stella just says, hey, set that fixture to DMX channel 20, which I can do here. So now that I've set the third party fixture to the DMX address that Stella has asked for, I just hit done and it gets added into my fixtures in this set. And there we go, it's turned on. I can also in this stage change the name because I have two Titan tubes. I might want to set this one to be called desk tube. And then inside my color control, I can go through and choose what mode I want to operate it in, you know, adjust color temperature and intensity, choose a color from the RGB selection screen, all of that, so it's pretty simple. Another new feature in Stella 2 is that I can group together fixtures which have different CCT ratings. So for example, the sky panel behind me has a much higher color temperature available than on this Kino, but in Stella, I can put them in a group and it will just limit the sky panel so that the color temperatures between the two fixtures still match. All I have to do is to select my two fixtures, put them in a group, name the group, and then in the color control settings, I choose my group, go to CCT, and then you'll see that the color temperature is limited here to 6500 instead of 10,000, which the sky panel could normally reproduce. But now I have full control of these two things simultaneously. You can have many, many fixtures all in a group together and it's a great way maybe if you're building big soft boxes or you just wanna have all your lights on the same settings, it's a nice way to be able to control them all at once. Another new feature of Stella 2 is the ability to swap out any fixture that might have a problem on set. So for example, if something should happen to this S60 over here, which I've called my 435 S60, I can bring a new fixture onto set and do a simple rescan that won't affect any of the other fixtures I have in Stella. So in this case, I've bought a replacement S60 in over here. And then I can go to the 435 S60, swap out, choose my replacement sky panel, and then that replacement sky panel will take on all the functions that this one was performing. It will keep the same name and keep all the same settings. So it's really handy, particularly if you're working in a grid and you just need to change one fixture, you can quickly swap it out through Stella. We've also added a whole bunch of usability improvements. For instance, you can now set a default intensity for a lamp when you bring it into Stella. And you can do that by just going into the app settings and here changing your default intensity. We've also added a way for you to monitor more of the status information that's being sent from the light to Stella via RDM. For instance, if I go into my key light here, into the settings, I can go into the fixture status page and then see a lot of information about the temperature settings and of course all sorts of things which might help you troubleshoot a problem when you're on set with the ARRI service department. 
Beyond that, there are a whole heap of minor updates that we've included in Stellar 2 to improve your user experience. We've also included bug fixes, and this is a regular thing that goes on as we continually update the application. Stellar 2 is a free upgrade for all our regular Stellar subscribers, and of course you can download a free trial right now at the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. For more information, you can go to ari.com slash Stellar, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.